Uh, with control of both the House and the Senate, Democrats now have the chance to fast track President uh, President elect Biden's plans for the economy, health care, and more. But with Democratic administration set to take power next week and no reprieve from lockdowns, our next guest warns the iceberg of communism is ahead. Goya Foods President and CEO uh, Robert Unanwe joins us right now. Mr. Unanwe, good morning to you. Steve, you, you hit the name uh, so great, correctly. Thank you. Good, good being with you this morning. Well, you've been on a couple of times. I figured it out. So, Robert, uh, what do you mean exactly? The iceberg of communist communism is ahead. Well, you know, we were the United States of America. We've become divided. We have states that have socialist tendencies and states that have uh, uh, democratic or capitalist tendencies. And... You know, our economy is shut down. We were doing fantastic. We're one of the greatest economies of the world. And along comes coronavirus yeah. and the perfect storm of, you know, division, quite honestly, hatred of, of the president and its, his followers. And, and uh, you know, an economy that, uh, you know, uh, uh, a division that exists in the country. And nobody knows more about the division than you, because you were called during the pandemic. Uh, and your company has donated millions of dollars of food to food banks all across the country. You were called to the White House to talk about the coronavirus and the response, and you went. And then people on the political left tried to cancel you with essentially a boycott, but then it turned around, people were supporting you with a boycott. And I understand Goya Foods has just finished your biggest, most successful year ever. Yes. You know, the problem is it's a political year and, and you know, they weaponize coronavirus, unfortunately, to shut down this economy. The worst thing we can do is shut down our economy, kill our spirit. You know, we have a, we need a reason to get up in the morning. God family work and they're taking away our spirit they're taking away our ability to work they essentially call uh you know declared martial law i believe in this country shutting everything down it's the worst thing we could have done just for political gain i think it's criminal criminal i think it's immoral to shut down this economy for this basically political reasons and you know uh we're one nation under god we're not one nation under Twitter. We're not one nation, you know, under big media or under central government. We're trying to have media, uh, big tech right. control right. our lives, the government control our lives. And, you know, we need to not move away from God. We need to move closer to God. They want to cancel God. They want to cancel our speech. They want to cancel our culture, our history, our liberty. They want to control us, the few controlling the many, like a bunch of sheep. You know, none of these people care about us. You know, we cannot move away from God. We need to love and to build, not hate and destroy. You know, some of us want to be one nation indivisible. You can't be indivisible without God. We have to pray, we have to have hope, and we have to move closer to God. Otherwise, it's not a pretty picture. Uh, because you are a CEO, I got to ask you, uh, Joe Biden unveiled a close to $2 trillion plan uh, to stimulate the economy and uh, coronavirus response as well. About half of it is going to go to direct payments to people who are hurting all across the country and invariably other people will get the money as well. Uh, but also it's going to bail out. We've heard from uh, Michael Waltz, the congressman from Florida. It's essentially a blue state bailout. It's also essentially a big government takeover. But then again, that should not surprise us because this is something that the Democrats have been talking about for a long time and elections have consequences. It's typical politics to throw money at a problem. A $600 check, a $1,200 or $1,400 check is people are out of work for a year. That's $2,000 combined. That doesn't do anything. And trillions of dollars, where that all that money goes, yeah. we got to get back to work. We can't shut down. We need to work. We need to get up in the morning and worship, praise God, work, our family. That's what we need to do. We need to get back to work. Otherwise, you know, and it's so much baloney that we're just throwing money at this. People, you know, it's ridiculous. Let the politicians do their stuff, but let us get back to work, please.
There you go. Something to think about on this weekend. Uh, he's the CEO of Goya Foods, Robert Unanwe. Sir, thank you very much. Have a great weekend. God bless.